with your back, you know what time it is. It's time to get fancy. So, today, with my second only ever spin four, I started with a record that I taped down to a Lazy Susan with a board attached to it to make a spinner. Just Google Lazy Susan if you don't know what I'm talking about. And so, yeah, like I said, this is only my second spin, so we're learning as we go. And now I painted the record like a dark blue color for my background color. And the colors that I'm going to be spinning around are the yellow, red, and then this sort of turquoisey blue color that you can see here. Okay, so when you're mixing the colors, you have to mix it with Elmer's glue all. And so you mix one part paint, one part Elmer's glue all, and then you add water slowly until it comes out like this, like um, melted ice cream, I always say. Okay? So that's the consistency you want. Because if it's too thick, it won't shoot around the canvas or paper or record, whatever it is you're painting on. Okie doke. So, first thing I want to do today, let me get these out of the way. Oh, and the paint brand that I'm using for all these colors is this one here okay I'm I'm sort of in a small town so I don't know if you're gonna be able to find the kind of paint that I use where you live but it doesn't really matter they're all acrylic paints I'm just putting them in the side they're all acrylic paints and they'll all work fine we're not doing anything fancy here we're just making funky surprise paintings because you don't know what they're gonna look like when they're done so let's see I'm gonna put some white on here I pre-poured my white. This is just a creamer. Don't use this because when I shake it, it comes flying out. I'm going to use like a, a pour bottle next time or something. But anyways, I just want to get a little bit of white on there. And the reason I always use white is because I like to use it as kind of a base. When you pour the other colors on, it just helps them spread out a bit. And so yeah, so we're ready to go. I've got my paints already all pre-mixed, so you don't have to watch that get this out of the way or that's going to go flying and oh yeah in my last video I had trouble spinning it because my board was getting slippery so when I'd spin it my finger was slipping on it so here's my handy dandy fix it for the problem I put a screw on the side so now I can just circulate it like that okay so if you have a better idea let me know in the comments all right let's move this white around a little bit I don't want it to go too much off the edge I just want to smoosh it around so you can see when you paint it kind of goes flying off the edge if I go faster then it's going to go flying more but I don't want it to all go because I want to put the colors make them go through and yeah so I'm going to start by making color blops put one here and the yellow Maybe I'll do ooh, ooh, like that. And the turquoise. There's nothing over here, so maybe another color block here. And I'm going to put one in the middle of this one. See what happens there. I'll probably turn purple. But you don't know. That's why it's been painting is cool, because you have no idea what's going to happen. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for, let's spin it. I probably make this table smaller so I can get around it easier. The paint that goes in the middle, it's going to move out slower. The paint on the edges is going to go flying off the side, so keep that in mind. Okay, so that's not too bad. Obviously I need something more in the middle and it's not really moving there, so I'm going to put some more white in the middle. A little blop. And don't make your paint super, super thick. Like, don't just keep adding colors and adding colors. Because when it dries, it's going to dry all cracked and stuff. When you spin it, it's sort of shooting the paint off. But if you, uh, if you put too much paint on, it's not going to dry well. Uh, maybe put a yellow in there, too. On this side. There we go. All right. Let's see what happens. Where's my screw? There it is. moving I'm gonna do a little circle red. Oh, better spin it again. Alright, the 
it'll just let it drip out and it'll make a circle if you just stay in one place. There we go. Alright, what's going on? Let's see. Well, I kind of like how that circle turned into like little polka dots going around. I'm going to do a little polka dotty yellow one and maybe that's it because I'm going to end up having too much paint. Alright. I'm going to spin it first and then I'm going to put a circle of yellow. I don't want to go out further with the yellow color. Alright. What have we got? Hard to tell when you got it up against the board and the this needs more color here. It's just too much white action happening. So maybe a bit of red. So these are still pretty thick. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Do if I need more white so that it shooshes out a bit more, I'll put a little bit of white there. Shoosh. Oh by the way, I just make up words. There's no such word as shoosh. I'm sure you know that. Alright. And then, I got turquoise, a bit of yellow over here. Alright, I think this is going to be it. Oh, this part here is kind of watery. Put a bit of red here, a little line here. Alright, get my screw, go this way. Oh, no, it's too hard to spin that way. Put it back in the center. All right. Okay. Maybe a yellow circle. Okay, that's it. Then we're going to be done. One yellow, one more yellow circle. I don't want to spin this too much because I don't mind how the colors look on the record. I'm going to move around a little bit. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, so let's take this off. Like I said, it's taped down. And that is what that spin turned out like. So like I said on the last video, you want to um, dry this on a flat surface so the paint will all keep running. If you don't really like it, you can kind of move it around while it's still really wet. I probably put a bit too much water in the yellow and that's why it's not uh, darker than that. But, that's only spin number two ever, so it's not that bad, I guess. Okay, well this is bugging me. Before I leave, i got to fix that part because... Push it back down on the piece of tape. There's no turquoise there at all, so I'm just going to fix the part where my fingers were. Do that. Alright. Sorry. I know. You were almost ready to go. But I gotta spin it one more time. I find if you over spin it, the colors get all muddy and too smeared together. And I kind of like them separate but together at the same time and not too smeary. Oh, see? Every time you think you're done, you're not done. Now look at this. I put the turquoise there. Now that's too much, so I'm going to do a circle and sort of break it up. I'm going to do a red circle on slow here. Did not move around. Alright. I don't want to add any more color because it's going to be too much. It's going to be too much paint. It'll never dry properly. So that's today's painting. So I have to dream up things. That, there's little air bubbles in there. So yeah, I hope you liked it. We'll see you next time on Tula Lu. And uh, if you want to suggest paint colors, you can suggest them in the comments below. And uh, the first 10 people that suggest, I'll pick one of them and I will... Do a spin painting if I can find the paint colors that you like. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!